on the part two of this tutorial <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and actually move our uh, logo text into the logo group okay now we're going to move on to the navigation bar so make a new group and name that nav bar okay now go back to your background group and your template structure and go to select load selection okay now go to select transform selection and now you want to make this about the size of uh, your navigational bar that you're gonna be using so we're gonna do about that big okay now go <clears throat> make a new layer and move that over to the nav bar group let's go ahead and close our background group here now go to select modify contract now we're going to go ahead and contract that by three pixels okay so we kind of got a white border around our navigational bar so let's actually go ahead and do uh, a dark gray nav bar okay maybe a little bit darker okay that looks pretty good so go ahead and double click that and <clears throat> wow just ate a burrito earlier okay so go ahead and add a, a gradient overlay on uh, your bar and set that on overlay now let's go ahead and actually reduce the opacity a little bit okay now this again is a basic template tutorial <clears throat> just to give you the basic idea of how websites are made in Photoshop I didn't really go into too much detail in the header or anything like that um, I'm probably gonna add a little bit more detail on the top here towards the end but let's actually go ahead and um, let's actually add an inner shadow, a slight inner shadow on our navigational bar. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. About 75 opacity, zero distance, and size 5. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and add the text for our navigational bar. So um, make sure you actually have your text color set at white and this actually looks maybe a little bit smaller um, you want to go ahead and use a basic font Arial would be a good uh, good place to start every Photoshop uh, or every computer should have Arial <clears throat> installed in it by default so okay home um, and go ahead and add some space for uh, our next word. I usually just like to copy, uh, make the space with the space bar and then copy it. So go ahead and do that if you like. But okay, let's go ahead and put locations, uh, models, um, maybe support. Um, contact and it looks pretty good so go ahead and add uh, some space in between maybe some extra space I'm gonna add two extra spaces between the buttons okay so that looks pretty good Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually spice up the um, header right now. So go to your background layer. Now, a lot of the time you could use when you cut when you cut something out uh, into a header like this, you could use brushes to kind of spice it up. So you want to go ahead and actually just download a huge data. I actually don't have that much on this computer, but just get a brush collection going. Um, brushes are always useful. 
So let's see what kind of different uh, stuff we got here. And you want to make sure you're brushing under uh, your layer. Okay. Go ahead and. Uh, I'm also going to add a color overlay. See, kind of, we're kind of getting a good effect right here. So maybe grab another brush out of this set. Okay. Oh, maybe a little too much. Um, let's see. Okay, that looks pretty nice. And I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, Add something under the logo, some kind of brush. Um, actually, that might work out pretty well for us. Let's see, lower the opacity a little bit. You can actually get a lot of these brushes um, from brusheasy.com, I believe. Uh, that's B R U S H. Uh, S H E E Z Y dot com. Um, or if it's not that, it's probably something similar. Just Google it. You could probably, and this site actually has uh, brush packs, so you don't have to download uh, like every brush individually. Just get a pack of like 20 of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a uh, color overlay on these brushes so go ahead and go to layer new adjustment layer color balance or that yeah color balance excuse me okay let's see what we can get and if a lot of the time uh, it's better to uh, add um, multiple color overlays and kind of race parts I'll show you what I mean in a second so let's go ahead and leave uh, that one like that um, okay so go again to layer and new adjustment layer color balance okay and let's go ahead and add some highlights maybe highlight a little bit of red let's see some oh, a little bit of yellow okay and i'm actually gonna add a little bit of uh of color on the car as well, or actually, let's try and let's try dragging the color balance um, <clears throat> above our header image. So that looks a lot better, I think. Um, let's see, without the color or without the Gaussian blur, maybe erase a little bit of the sides. kind of blend it a little more okay so a lot of, a lot of small details like this can really just top off a design so just take your time with websites um, this isn't really my best design I'm kind of just going with the flow but hopefully you guys learn a little something okay <clears throat> so let's go ahead and make a new group for the content and actually we're gonna we're gonna do a subheader just in, or a, a sub menu so just name this sub menu go ahead and make a new layer now so make sure grab your rectangular marquee tool and make a selection at about the same distance um, 
that your navigational bar is. Okay. Go ahead and fill that with black. Okay, and now we're going to lower the opacity of that. You could actually just find the spot you're comfortable with. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and make the, the menu font a little bit smaller. Add some more spaces. Okay. Maybe a little more. Okay, maybe two less on each. God, I hate doing this crap. Okay. Okay. So this is not that bad. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just add some um some simple text on the menu so go ahead and open up your browser actually you can grab some filter text off of uh, lipsum.com and I'm kinda just going through doing a couple of basic web design tutorials to get a feel for YouTube I'm actually gonna do some more detailed high quality um, template tutorials and I can actually show you a couple designs but we'll do that in the next video okay so I'm just go to lipsum.com and we could just actually just grab this filter text right here well go ahead and paste that um, now we're gonna go ahead and go with the gray font make sure your text settings are normal and I'm actually gonna do 12 pixels and none as the color style okay maybe actually a lighter gray or right, that's black um, so go ahead. okay that's pretty that's all right um, so let's go ahead and just separate our text here and I'm actually gonna add some uh, extra spacing between uh, senses like that okay so just go ahead and uh, even out your font or uh, your te your text summary in the sidebar. Excuse me. Okay. Almost there. And uh, I actually just did a, if you don't really like this navigational bar, I did a navigational bar tutorial that's actually pretty much as simple as this one, but with a little more detail that you might like a little better. So you could check that out on my channel as well. But okay. So we're getting towards the end here. One more. 
Okay. And you can actually even, um, if you're using this as a portfolio or whatever you're using it for, you can add uh, your most recent um, template designs or whatever kind of work you do. You can add thumbnails on the side right here. Um, just use your imagination. But, okay. So now we have our navigational bar. Um and a uh, uh, sub menu so actually you want to make sure the sub menu text is in the right group and I'm actually gonna spice up the nav bar a little bit by adding some uh, dividers between um, between the words the, the menu items okay so just go ahead and select white and is this a layer? Yeah, make sure you make a new layer. Okay. Now just make a small line with the pencil tool at about a pixel. And you want to lower the opacity of that at about mm, at about six okay and now just go ahead and duplicate that with control J and add it in between our uh, in between our menu items okay there we go I think that looks a little bit better and just go ahead and move on to the next video we're gonna finish up with the content area maybe a small footer section and just wrap the template up